Hello, YouTubers. My name is Ricardo Lina, and I am a wheel addict. Actually, not. I am not Ricardo Lina. I am not even a Tiago French inline skater. I am just Nix V, the clumsy inline skater. And I am here with you to talk. Yeah, there's been quite a lot, I hope, informative videos on my channel recently. In a previous two months, I suppose, there has been some technique, there were jokes, there was even blood. And I hope you enjoyed watching them. If you haven't watched them, just click pause button and go and watch them right now. This video will wait for you. So there were informative videos on my channel and uh, now I decided just to take an opportunity to talk with you, to give a small narrated flow of my way through the streets of small towns near Paris. This is my ordinary way from home to my work and I'm not using my skates all the time when I'm going to work, but this time I'm using them. So please don't wait any tricks or any super speed from this video, because I have to come to my work without any injuries uh, and not too sweaty. So it is a relaxed skating session, as you can see it, I suppose. Yeah, I'm wearing some protection gear here, but it is not a uh, very hardcore protection and actually it doesn't help me a lot. Maybe I will make a separate video about this protection. And you have seen that it didn't help me once already when I was skating that stairs, cobblestone stairs. But now uh, that's okay and I'm using it still. I wanted to talk a little bit about the future of my channel because there is a lot of coming in and I hope you will find some reasons to subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet make it because actually I'm right now starting to count all the reasons to subscribe there will be not too much but I hope there will be enough okay so I'm thinking about what I can do, how I can make my videos more interesting. And I understand that tutorials are the main part of the inline skating videos. And I will continue making tutorials, continue making the anti-tutorials also. And the first tutorial that is in my list is the tutorial on power slide, because I really think that power slide is one of the skills that I've mastered quite good so I can speak a lot about it and you know I actually counted about five different types of power slide and I will show all them in my video I'm already preparing a scenario for this episode yeah you know I'm preparing a scenarios for my videos that really sounds a little bit dumb but that's it so wait for it, you will see them all and I hope you will find something new if you're even a great power slider. Maybe I will say something that you didn't know before. If you are a beginner it will be also very useful because power slide is one of the things that every inline skater should know very well. Not of course as a T-stop, but you know T-stop. T-stop is killing wheels. Power slide also, but not that fast. Power slide is a slow killer, slow murderer, something like that. Okay, so tutorial on power slide is coming soon, and I hope that I won't be lazy too much to make it fast, because it is actually the lesson that I was planning a long time before, but things going on and it is still not finished yet. Wait for it, wait for it.
There also will be some other music videos because I'm trying to improve my editing of videos. I'm trying to improve my skills of a cameraman because not always the footage is very good. I'm trying to use different angles, different types of capture and video and so on, different length of selfie stick and using not using a selfie stick at all, something like that. So music videos will come also, and I hope at least few of you will like it. So what else should I say? And you can see that my skates feel an OKBX that I love very, very much. They are not in a very good shape. You actually can see that I changed wheels, changed my laces, but uh, one new lace that I changed about a month ago has already worn out. And now I'm using one new lace and one old lace. And I have to say that Phyllis laces are very, very durable and they are great, so I still can use the older lace and it holds my foot quite good. So my skates are not very good and I think that I will change them soon. Uh, of course I will not put Phyllis into trash can or something like that, but there will be the new skates and I've already chosen the model that I want, that will be uh, quite a new model. Uh, very good skates, different skates, and I hope it will be a great fun to use them, to try them, and I hope it will be a great fun for you to look at me trying them. So, please wait for it and this is another reason to subscribe so we got already two reasons lessons and then use skates because they are coming soon what else what else I'm trying to improve my technique my technique in uh, other braking techniques except for t-stop and curves I'm working on my slides uh, I hope soon I will be ready to show you how to perform the magic slide and parallel slide to perform them so that they will be stable and really impressive. Also, I'm working on my jumps because I'm not a very good jumper, but I tried it and I found that it is not as difficult as it seems from the beginning those jumps with the grabs and rather high jumps so that will be also in my future videos so please wait for them also and now let's just take a look at what's going on on the screen I'm now in St. Clue Park and you can see that I'm on quite unskatable surface but at least it is pretty beautiful here. Yeah, you can see there are some statues, great statues, naked statues if you wish. And the nature is also very beautiful here. And there are some obstacles that are very fun to skate on. But there is one big disadvantage, you have to walk on skates rather long to get to the main obstacles, main fun obstacles. And there is also another disadvantage, is that there are a lot of cobblestones here that you have to just get peace with them, because you can't get from point A to point B without touching the cobblestones here in Paris. Yeah, if your way is long enough and if you are in the historical part of uh, this district of France, you will meet the cobblestones, definitely. So you can see that cobblestone downhill, it is shaky, very shaky, but I'm used to it right now. You have seen it in my previous videos quite a lot, but I have to go through them over and over again. Oops. I almost fell there. Okay, the asphalt here is not very smooth also, 
so no too much speed here but it's fun to skate on different surfaces to try different techniques it has been very recently when I've tried curves on cobblestones and it really works and I really feel myself much more confident uh, on those cobblestones when I'm using current techniques. This asphalt is not very good also, so I will try a little bit uh, backwards skating here, yes. Backwards is pretty good on the trough surfaces because uh, it helps you to understand the maneuvering much better and you you don't get too much speed uh, on that surface and at the end of my way there will be quite a steep downhill so right now we will take a look at it this is the downhill where i gained once about 55 kilometers per hour i will not get it right now because i'm trying to make some a little bit small curves and i will also use a t-stop a bloody t-stop yeah my money is flowing away right now and actually it is a very scary downhill because the asphalt here is not very good so you can see it there are some cracks and so on and there are also some juggers there so i have to navigate between them and yeah that's it the downhill is over and i think that my flow today is also over sorry if i've been speaking a little bit rubbish english is not my native language so i have to translate some words inside of my head. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope at least one of you have listened from the start to the end. If so, please write it in comment. I will give you my heart, all my hearts. So that's all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, ring the bell and so on. Give me a like or give me a thumbs down. Thank you very much for being with me. Thank you very much for being on my channel, for seeing all my videos and so on. Thanks. Bye-bye.